might be too late for a live stream. There is nobody in here. Let's freaking go. It is on public, isn't it? No, it just popped up on my notifications. people in here. What's up, guys? Four people. What's going on? Taya just got back with Duke. What's up, SKB? You got it. We did it. I'm just going to share this now that I'm live to Facebook and a couple groups. Do you guys want to share that we're live? Uh, tonight, we are going to be cooking the golden trout that I, well, caught, I today. caught today. Shut up, Taya. I caught it with my own bare Zip hands. it. I didn't even use a bait. It just you are working arms. today. So yeah, guys, today Ooh. I caught a my very first golden trout and uh, I got it out of a pond that basically um, they stock like crazy, but all the fish pretty much don't make it through the summertime. So it's best to Fine, keep it's best to keep your fish. Um, so I kept the golden trout and uh, we're gonna see how it tastes. I've never had a golden, golden trout, obviously, because it's my first one ever, but. Hey. All right, what's up? Where's our laundry? Oh, at the laundromat, I gotta go get it. Shit. It's nine o'clock, what time's it close? I don't know, midnight? Damn it, yeah, I think it is something like that. I was doing so much at once. It's all done though, so that's good. It was probably finished about 30 minutes ago. All right, I'm gonna share this out, guys, to Facebook real quick. Maybe get some more people in here. And then we're gonna cook this trout. We're gonna do some rice on the side and a salad. I already seasoned, as soon as I got home, I cut the head off of the trout because it was so big. It's a, it was a 19 inch uh, golden trout, so it was pretty big. And uh, so I cut the head off and then I'll show you what I used for seasoning. What's up, who cares? Uh, I'll show you guys what I used for seasoning on the trout in a second, so. Damn, hold on. Oh boy. Let me see. In your car? Let me see. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right. We back. We back. All right. So, let's see. How are you guys doing today? We doing good? Let's see. I need to freaking get the photo here so we can share it right there. And we're sharing it to Facebook. Copy that. Paste that. Our cooking today. Posted it to Facebook real quick. Boom. Share it to a group or two. Uh, we'll do the Skipper community because they're awesome folks. And then we will share it to a group. I will share it to the Fish Fam because they're one of my favorite groups, and that'll be it. All right, so we shared it to my Facebook and then a couple quick groups. Now let's 
get this damn fish in the oven. I'll show you guys what I did real quick. Turn these lights off and save battery while we're in the kitchen. All right, so let's see. We got the oven set at 400. Boom. Let's get this trout out of the fridge here. So, let's see. You guys should probably show you the fish real quick, even though I wrapped it all up. What's up, Scuba Steve? So, this is the fish here. I guess I could unwrap it for you guys. I just kind of got it all ready, set up for this. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to do this live or not. I kind of made it a last-second decision. So, hold on a second. Let me just... Whoop. Perfect. Let's open this fish up so I can show you guys how freaking beautiful this is. Okay. So this is the golden trout. Pan fry is better. Well, I'm going to bake it and then I'm going to broil uh, the top. I don't know if I have a pan. That pan right there is my biggest pan, and that's a that was a 19-inch fish. That thing ain't gonna fit in that pan uh, at all. That's it was it's a that's a big fish, guys. Uh, anyways, we're gonna throw it in the oven for a little bit. Uh, I just saw Max pop in there. What's up, Max? Yeah, we're gonna throw this thing in the oven for a little bit, and then we're gonna broil it uh, after it's done in the oven. And while we cook it, we're going to hang out. I'm going to do some rice, and Tay is going to also make a salad for us. Uh, also, guys, my girlfriend does not like fish. She had one bite of a rainbow trout once, and uh, she actually liked it a little bit. But I don't know if she's going to like this enough to actually eat more than just, like, a bite. So this, this might be all for me. I hope that it's good enough that Taya... Uh, enjoys it enough to like eat some of it uh, like enough like a, a regular dinner portion so let's get this some uh, some of be in the oven throw the timer on freaking 15 minutes or so let's see all right so 15 minutes. We're going to set on the timer. Actually, we're going to put 10 minutes on the timer. Because we've got to start the rice in 10 minutes. So, let's do that. Hey, Siri. Are you listening? You stupid bitch. Damn it. All right. 916. Easy. 9.25, we got to start the rice, guys, and then we're going to flip that fish. 15 minutes, give it another 15, and then we're going to broil it and try and crisp up that skin. How do you guys like to cook trout? I saw somebody say pan fry. Actually, I'm going to have to go look in the chat here. What's everybody saying? Because I'm running around. I can't. I couldn't read the chat, so let me let me catch up. Pen battle for the salt. What size? Is My uh, 3,000 max works beautifully it works beautifully absolutely perfect so yeah guys i, I uh went out for opening day for trout today uh, apparently it was really slow fishing i still caught nine trout one of which being a 19 inch golden trout and the, my buddy that i went with jerry he uh he caught 10 or 11 trout so i think we caught together 20 trout on the day and he's like that's a slow day that's a slow day I'm like that was freaking great bro i'll take that every day uh smoke trout yep yep looks good lopez thank you White wine would be good with the trout. We should make Taya go get some. Just kidding. Can't do that. What's up, sir? Altitude? Stay golden, bro. 
Uh, I need a beer, guys. So I always have a beer when I'm live. Tomorrow I'm working super in the early in the morning. So when I got home today, instead of doing a review for tonight, uh, what I did was I got that fish ready. Then I edited tomorrow's video in full and got it uh, exporting right now. And then I decided to go live and cook this fish with you guys because uh, – I've never done that before, and I thought it'd be fun, especially to see Taya's, uh, you know, reaction live to the fish, because it's going to be brutally honest. If she likes it, she'll make a face like, I don't, I don't want to like this, and if she doesn't like it, she's going to go, Ugh. I wonder if she's watching this right now. Oh, she just sent me a text. All right. Sorry, I had to text Tay about the laundry so she knew exactly what to get. All right, so we need a beer here. What are we doing? Farm to table at us, fight a cider. I don't know if we have a cider. Taya works at a liquor store and brings home so much random stuff. This is a sour ale with blueberry and lemon. That is not for me. That might be for Taya tonight with the, what do you think about that? Having that with the trout for Taya. What do you want, Duke? You want to be on the you want to be on the show? Come here. You coming? What are you getting in the fridge? What are you gonna get in the fridge, Duke? Is there anything good in there? Oh, oh, oh! Thanks. All right. So what else do we got? A session IPA. That might be it. I can't fit it all. Well, I. I managed to fit it all, Taya, so how? Okay, let's see. I don't want that 99 calorie stuff. And then, ooh, the crisp. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this right now. And then we'll give Taya this to go with the trout. Make sure she drinks that with the trout. All right, Duke? Is that a good idea, Duke? Uh, Duke fishing would probably be a disaster. Maybe not anymore. He's he's a lot older now. But um, he, the thing about Duke, guys, and fishing, and the problem with that, and there's a big problem with that, uh, is I raised Duke in Hawaii. Uh, I got him when he was five months old, and we were at the beach all the time. set back up we were at the beach all the time and he didn't like to swim but he liked to be in the water and i love to surf and i love to swim and i was like my dog's gonna swim so i used to take him out into the ocean and drop him in the ocean he would swim back to shore and then one day i filled my board shorts with treats and i made him smell the treats and then i took off swimming and he followed me and since that day i haven't been able to get him out of the water so if i take duke fishing uh he will never let me catch a fish because he will jump in the water also i've never tried to take him on a boat either because i am just 99.9 .9 sure he is uh just gonna jump off at any given time um because he's a maniac right duke i've seen him uh there's this place called jamaica pond in boston and i've seen him uh chase a goose pretty much across the entire lake he was just, he would I don't remember if it was a goose or not. It was a big bird, and he chased it around. He was in the middle of the lake. I was like, Duke, you're going to drown, bro, because he's a big pit bull, and he just swims. What is up, Jacob, my dude? What's going on? The fishing in Hawaii is an, um, it's an amazing fishery. Uh, I didn't fish then. I surfed. I was a surfing guy. I freaking swam all the freaking time. I... Hung out with my dog. This beer is overflowing all over me. So that's that's fantastic. Fantastic way to start the the dinner off. Nice frothy spilled beer everywhere. We didn't even shake it. How did they freaking do that? It's obnoxious. <sighs> Taya will be back soon, guys. She just went to go get the laundry. Um Ooh, Fishman's in here. Jacob's in here. Ryan's in here now. We got a good crew tonight, boys and girls. 
we got a good crew. Uh, Tay will be back soon, like I said. I'll be drinking this beer soon. Uh, this fish is going to take probably, I don't know, 35, 36 minutes to cook, and then we'll chow her down. We might do a giveaway today. I don't know what we'll give away. I still have to mail the giveaways from the last live from last week. I still have them right here. Um, but we'll, I'll figure something out. I'll find something laying around. We'll give something away today. We will give something away. Why not? Don't know what. And we'll do trivia because it's fun. The numbers game was fun last week, but... I need to start fly fishing, dude. I mean, I have a fly rod, but it's a, it's for the ocean, and I still haven't set it up yet because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to tying the fly line. Plus, the fly line that's on there, I, I think I might need to go get new line. I, I, I honestly don't know. I kind of want to uh, meet up with Joey, my buddy Joey from Woozy Fishing, and have him take a look at the whole thing and just help me get the damn thing set up because he's uh, really good. Uh, fly fisherman when it comes to stripers and that's really why I want to I want to really dial in uh, Learning how to cast with this thing so I can catch some stripers Heading out tomorrow for the next four days. Mr. Fishman. That sounds fantastic um, Trout cooks quick 10 to 15 minutes uh, The last time I cooked trout in the oven it took longer than 15 minutes but maybe it just wasn't hot enough steve you watched that carp that carp video is one of my favorite videos i've ever put together and i had some guy comment on facebook and he was like all you do is spam and make clickbaity videos i'm like listen bud first of all i don't put clickbait out there clickbait means you like lie to people using your thumbnail or title uh anything that's in my thumbnail or title happened okay uh and then two yeah ryan this fish is huge and uh it was a 19 inch 19 inch fish and so yeah like you know and then spam like i post in like six facebook groups sometimes i post in reddit sometimes i post on fish brain and i make a video every single weekday I grind. Stop hating on me because I'm freaking doing what I love for a living and you, uh, who knows what you do. I don't know what you do. <laughs> was that on Fish Fam? No, it was on an ice fishing group. Um, but they're, they're like, like some of those, a couple of the ice fishing groups I'm in, um, there's a lot of like really good people so i post in them every once in a while and that video that video i posted in almost all the groups i post in even though it wasn't ice fishing because ice fishing's like three or four of the like six groups i'm even in is ice fishing oh i love haters they fuel they fuel the fire they fuel the fire they make me want to succeed even more it makes me grind even more you know what i mean screw them I am super excited for this fish. We are going to start the rice. Tay already got the rice ready because we have a rice cooker. So how easy is that? Pow pow. And that's the rice, guys. Wow. So since Tay is doing the laundry stuff because I forgot to do it and we'll finish it before I went live. Because I was working my butt off since I got home. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do the salad for her. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got.
make some in salad. Shit. Uh, what else we got? Anything fun? Maybe some cheese later. Okay. Yep. Put that. Put the shit in there. We got some pickled onions, some pickled cauliflower. I got cucumber, arugula, pepper, avocado, some freaking carrots. Let's go. I need to find out, figure out a better position for this gosh darn phone here. Um, while I'm cutting. What am I going to do? What? Soy sauce? What? I saw soy sauce in something. It's hard for me to read the chat when I'm not near the computer because it just pops up on the phone for a second and goes away. Stuff the pepper with the salad. That actually is a pretty good idea. It's a really good idea. Does anyone ever do that? Make it a pepper bowl. That's a really damn good idea. Especially if people really like peppers. Toss that salad, Todd. I will. Alright, there goes the phone. No grafting, hey. What's up? We're cooking. Cooking with grubs. Flip this damn thing here. Put that bad boy back in there. In about 10 minutes, we'll take the trout out. Make sure it's pretty much fully cooked, and then I'm gonna put it on broil and try and crisp the top of the skin up a little bit. Oh, I didn't? Oh, I hit the button. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? Why stop yelling? Uh, guys, I didn't actually start the rice just then. I pushed the button down and the rice cooker hadn't been plugged in yet. I thought, I thought Tan set it all up. The rice cooker is on when you plug it in. So if you plug it in, it's on. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So pressing the button doesn't... It sets it from warm to warm. cook. Do you think that's enough? I think that's more than enough. I'm not sure I'd eat these. Are they old? Yeah. Taya's here, guys. Welcome. Welcome, Taya. You should grab your phone so we can actually see the chat while we're in here. Yeah, kind of bitter. Bitter? What else can we throw in the salad? I kind of just did this quick. Lopez says hi. Hi, Lopez. But I can see. I can't really see because they pop up. The chat stuff pops up and goes away so fast. I'm annoyed at Todd because he said he was going to yeah. do the laundry. I did the laundry. And then he forgot our laundry at the laundry. I did not forget it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was working. So, you fully remembered. No, you remembered. There's a cucumber in there, you putz. I know there's a cucumber in there. So put that on salad. I know. That's why it's out. That's what I was just going to get. <laughs> Is there anything else oh that we want in there? A divorce. Oh, guys, we're getting divorced. Oh, what did I do? Now I'm trying to use my Apple Pay. This thing stinks. This is the worst phone holder ever. Okie dokie. Duke, you don't want pepper. I'm telling you, bro. No, he does. Okay. Are you in the chat? Yeah. Where's that? God damn. The myth, the legend, the tale. Hi, Ryan. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Peppers. Let's pull some peppers. You're wondering how much it takes to deal with Todd. 
about this much. You haven't even taken a sip out of that thing. You've had it for like a week. I've had it for two days. A week. I got my vaccine. I didn't feel well. Big fan. Dominic Cole. I didn't see your first message. It moved too fast. Yeah. Yep. Stella on one side. What? You gotta read that last comment. It was too long. It's use, so hard for me. Use the rice because you need glasses. No. Use the rice as a base. Then yep. put the fish over top. Put the salad on one side. Slice your cucumbers and marinate with vinaigrette as a garnish. That's pretty much what we're doing. And that's brilliant. Like so, me. Um, like put the cucumbers not in the salad? As a garnish, yeah. But we could do that. We could marinate oh, them. He is an old man. Watch him when he could tries you, to read your comments. He goes like this. Could you ah, shut up? <laughs> could you um, set a timer for ten minutes, or set eight minutes? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Pepper done. Timer set for avocado. Minutes. Avocado time. I just got those yesterday, so I'm not sure how good they're gonna be. Guys, you think Tay is gonna like this fish? I don't think so. I doubt it. She never likes fish. That's how you gotta go. What are you trying to die? Well, usually it pops out after you do that. Because yeah, it's not super ripe. Here it comes. Boop! <laughs> They're tiny. Oh, damn it. Dag, got it. I got it. Why don't you use this? Put it in here. Nope, oh, you had it perfect. There you go. Let the record show he yelled at me first. Jeez, and then when I was right. Shh, shh, shh. This is why I drink. Do you want a little thing? A little what? I have a beer. Could you actually grab it for me? In a minute. Oh, and we have a drink that you need to drink with the fish. What's we, that? we all decided that you have to have that lemon blueberry drink. Yeah? Yep. It's been decided. I think it's expired. Well, even better. Gotta love skunked beer. My love. <laughs> Sliced the avocado up. Doodly doodly doo. Yes, it was whiskey. Lopez. Yeah, it's Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace bourbon, my favorite. Buffalo Trace and Blanton's. Um, it's been hard for me to find the Buffalo Trace and Blanton's, honestly, for the last year um, during quarantine. But I um, went to this liquor store the other day because I do cocktail development for a local magazine and they have like a tab there and I um, was like, oh, by the way, <laughs> Do you have any <laughs> Buffalo Trace? And he goes, what size? And I was like, the biggest bottle, please. And so I got this bottle. It should last me. It's huge. I don't know. How two or three what, nights. How many liters is it? Is it 12 liters? This might be uh, like an actual handle. <laughs> wow, thanks, Dominic. That was, a, that was a couple years ago. We were at 1K. This is a 1.75 liter. Yeah, I kind of figured it was more than one. All right, let's put some of these stinky cauliflowers in there. I made those pickled cauliflowers. Picky. Yeah, they're so good. I'm I gonna break them up a little too. bit so they spread out more in the salad. Pickled radishes. So those are the radishes. Do we have any onions? Yeah. Wow, pickled radishes, pickled cauliflower. I got pickled yeah, if you want to put those in the salad, I didn't know. What is the brand of whiskey? It's Buffalo Trace. It's one of the best ones out there that is not going to break the bank. Yeah, I got this um, handle, 1.75 liters, um, for $57. Um, I think I found it for like 60 earlier. I love pickled stuff, Max. Love it. You should put all of that inside the fish. Yeah, I, we could definitely do that sometime. I put pickle stuff inside the fish the last time I cooked fish, right, Taya? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Well, I, but I, not with me, I don't think. What? I think that was... Oh, the I trout. Think. The trout here. Oh, you're right. Right? We have this jackfruit. 
What are we gonna do with that? Put it in the salad. salad. Alright, now I gotta slice up some of this cuke. There goes my finger. This is my backup meal. Yeah. When she doesn't sauces. like the fish, she's gonna, gonna make some sausage. She's gonna like the sausage. Loves the sausage. It's plenty of cukes. Yeah, I don't want to drink the sour yeah, with, the, with fish either. Who said that? Who cares? What, um, yeah, so uh, I love Boop. sour beers. Scuba Steve. <laughs> All right, salad's done. How much time is on that timer, babe? Please hold. Please hold. Three minutes and 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Three minutes and 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, cool. 7. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. Since there's only three minutes left on the timer, I'm going to take this fish out uh, and see if we can't get that broiler going and crisp up the skin on the outside, finish this fish off. Um, if it doesn't look cooked all the way through yet, I might put it in for a few more minutes. But let's go ahead and take it out. I'm going to put a fresh piece of foil down too after. But let's go ahead and look at this fish. Sweetheart, when you're done replying, can you um, take this and be... Oh, you're doing that. Yeah. She's sharing. She's sharing. As soon as you're done sharing, babe, take the phone and... Click that so you can like watch what you're and then what like uh, show them what I'm doing. Wait, what do I cook? Uh, that. Oh, so and yeah. then you can hold yeah. it or you can hold it like selfie style and get both of us. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Just get us. Get me doing that. Nice right. trout. <sighs> Welcome to Taya Vision. What are you fishing next, Todd? Todd should be biting it soon. It feels uh, or sounds like it's already done, which is great. Todd, what are you fishing next? Um, someone asked. What am I fishing next? I uh, am working on the fishing boat tomorrow. So that so means... I'll be up at uh, the butt crack of dawn, um, like way before dawn. And then be at the boat at 5 a.m. We'll be departing at 5.30, and uh, we'll be off searching for cod and some tog. Uh, yes, you will be able to see the plating. Um, Todd's just um, doing his uh, signature move of using a lot of aluminum foil for no reason. Brian says he'll still be up. Give it, give him a call. And um, so, yeah, I do believe that he'll mostly be targeting Wally outdoors. I think he'll mostly be targeting Cod um, tomorrow. Cod, Tog, Cod, Tog. Wow, Cod and Tog with Todd. Look at that baguette. It does kind of look like a piece of bread. I wish it was. Fish bread. I eat all of it. Fishbread.com, guys. It smells good. Then we're going to just flip it. And then we're going to boil it. Now so we're going to boil it. Turn the broiler on. So, so see um, the broiler under there? You might actually want to move the tray down one level. I'm better at starting the oven than Todd is. I love... Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can crisp up the skin a bit. Oh, dookie. All right. Can you set a timer for five? I can't do a hundred things at once. And I'll take that. We'll flip it in five minutes, maybe even three minutes. Set a table timer for three minutes, so we'll check it in three, because we don't want it to, like, burn, burn. Sure. I don't know how fast that's going to cook, because I haven't done this yet with the fish. All right. My pants just came undone. That's because you never zip your fly. All right. Um, do you want to pick the dressing? We only have one. We only have one, so it's picked unless you want balsamic. Unless you want ranch. I can make a balsamic ranch. If you uh, want me to? I can have, make a really good dressing. We have dressing. a balsamic vinaigrette. No. That's Newman's. I hate You've Newman's. You've been eating this. I hate it, guys. You've been eating this. Like, Let's for... make a balsamic ranch. Whatever. You 
are exhausting. I know. So, I love making sauces. Take some, can, what are you doing? That's not enough for the salad. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Can I have something I can, like, fill in, the, like, the exact thing and grab it? Throw this away. Why? What are you talking about? I need something I can actually mix it in. That I can't mix it. Oh, yeah. Mm, All right, mm, Brian, mm. fine. You win. Todd says he doesn't like Newman's own, and then he eats it all the time because I feed it to him. Yeah, Duke just ate, Brian. He's, um... He's giving you puppy eyes, but he just ate. And if he eats, like, anything other than something super bland, he will have explosive diarrhea. Oh, it's the best. It's the best when a 90-pound dog has diarrhea. in the morning. One time, he got nice. sick kind of recently, and it really hurt me because when I woke up, I heard him crying, and I got out of bed because I knew he needed to go out, and um, he was having an accident in the kitty litter box. He tried. Poor buddy. He tried his best. Yeah. Um, yeah, he got into something. That time. Making a little balsamic ranch, guys. Let's see if Taya likes it. I'm not going to, because it's going to taste like spicy. <laughs> oh, hot damn. Mm -hmm. Try it. That's delightful. It tastes like spike. <laughs> delightful spike. Cheers, guys, if you're imbibing. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Yeah, he's like a freaking pro kid. Oh, good. Also, what we should do is we should put a second chair there so we can actually see both of us once we're eating time. Oh, okay. What's everyone drinking? What's everyone having? Oh, three minutes, babe. Okay. Crack open the um, oven. Okay. Real quick. And then what? And just take a look at the skin. <laughs> sure. On the top. All right, looks like a fish in there. Does the skin Is look there... like it's browning or crisping? What's that, fish? It looks like it's browning. Yeah. It's working. Whatever you're doing is working. Okay. It doesn't look like it's burning, right? No, no, no. You might need to leave it for another tube if it doesn't look like it's starting to like really, really crisp. I think it looks like a beautiful brown. Oh, let me see. My phone keeps going to sleep. Um, I wish I was drinking, but suck at work. Lopez, what do you do? Um, that you're working right now. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Rob said, vinegar's gonna curdle the milk in the ranch. <laughs> He's nope. drinking a PBR. No, it ain't. Hell yeah, dude. Love I PBR. do this all the time. I make this dip, and then I eat carrots with it. I just like, this, this is like my favorite carrot dip. And, uh, all right, so strange hours. I prefer strange hours. I think 95s are kind of boring for me. Zero curdling. It's not with the ranch. With the ranch. That the ranch. That's why Balsamic Ranch is like made at restaurants and stuff. I don't know if you guys have had that. Like the Cheesecake Factory, I think, has it. It's freaking bomb. I put some garlic in here. Oh, she put garlic in the rice, guys. Look at Pessa, bro. Mm -hmm. The trout didn't look like it was browning as well as I wanted it to. So I put it like literally right under the broiler literally. so literally what's that smell it's brown yeah. is that it i don't yeah i think it just smelled like gas for a second oh. i want to put some of this wait did, is this what you put on the fish that's on the fish yep do you want to show them i told them i i was like i'll show you what spices i used and then never did todd so is he is on tiktok and pepper yeah i'm tick fishing grubs on everything uh, everything. I don't use fishing grubs on Facebook. I use my actual Todd grub on Facebook. 
there is fishing groups on Facebook, but I don't really use it much. I probably should. So, um, Todd and I were grocery shopping a while ago, and I saw this called Fisherman's Wharf Blend, and I was like, hey, you're a fisherman. And then he was like, well, Alicia, guy, buy that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Todd, a <laughs> little fisherman. Oh. And so we did. This is what we wanted. And it's yummy, yeah, and honestly, um, I think it also says that it goes well with chicken, but, um, it's just like a nice, like, Let's put an extra um, on the top here. Coarsely ground pepper, green onions, flake, uh, salt, great. Um, chicken eggs and fresh veggies. Um, so Throw some on the on the top. Okay. We're gonna just crisp this side. The other side looked great. Sorry, Tay didn't show you guys. What? You know you leave the cap on to do that, babe. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> just go ham. Yeah, it's perfect. Is that better? Yeah, okay. that's great. Okay. Yeah. I'll just give it a little rub. I don't. Yes, you do. I was Here, hold this. Please. What I want to put in the um, mm, rice never mind. to add some flavor to the rice. Put that back there. Get this back in there for a few minutes. We can do a little. Why don't we do a little. Um, hey, Taya Siri, set uh, an alarm. Just kidding, guys. Ryan, set an alarm for three minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't need one. All right, let's three get the... Three minutes, sweetie? Yeah. It's on it. Let's get the salad done up. Hey, Duke, I'm going to need you to move. Duke, I love you. <laughs> Scoop Steve's got it. I love you. Salt Bay, says Nick. <laughs> Duke, I love you, but I need you to move. You're a big guy. I'm going to go somewhere else, okay? Salad Come bowls. Come on, Duke. Come on. Good boy. Cut up some apples for the salad. Some what? Apples. Apples? You want to put apples in your salad? No. Not, no, not in this one. Not with balsamic ranch. Maybe with like, I don't know, something stupid. Something stupid? Something stupid. Like something you? just stupid. Goes well with Todd? Where's the tongue? Because we're smoking bones. Apples on salad is good, like, with the right dressing. I like... And accompaniments, you need, like, pecans and shit. I like pears and salads. Also, Taya said I wouldn't use all this dressing. <laughs> Single now. Look for him on Tinder. Tinder talk. Tinder talk. Damn, this looks great. Thanks, I made it myself. What is this? Oh. Fuck. Bless you, babe. Ooh. Ooh. This salad looks good. Tinder talk. <laughs> Tinder Todd's suspicion. Tinder Todd. <laughs> My nickname. <laughs> Imagine Todd's Tinder profile. Our fish. Uh, if, if you can get with that, you can get with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get with that, then you can get with this. Oh my god. If you can get with this, then you can get with that. I'm getting salad everywhere. Tiny Tinder Todd, I like that. You know, gotta throw the tiny on there. That really gets the attraction of the ladies. They can smell that. That tininess from a mile away. I just put some herbs de Provence in with the rice to add a little flavor and then some butter. Let me take that for you. You're right next to the sink. Yep. Turn. Salads are done. Three minutes? And three minutes is up. If you want to be my lover, you got to fish with my friends. No, no. <laughs> Why did you do that? Who did that? Fishman. <laughs>
fired. I'm gonna block your comments. <laughs> oh man, that looks perfect. Mm. Holy Scuba Steve. Shnikes, your alarm guys. is on point. Now we're going to do this thing uh, Todd's never heard of called turn the this oven way. off. Wow. Oh, thanks, Rob. She says thanks, too. What, me? Um, we were joking. <laughs> were we? Tinder. Well, she broke up with me, by yeah. the way. That's why. I break up with him every time um, he wins an argument. Can you, do you want to grab the salads? I'm going to plate uh, putting the rice Guys, this is the salads after I, after I tossed it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I kind of want parm for mine, but I'll deal without it. You got parm? Yeah, but it's on the block. Anyways, I gotta. I don't even know what to do with this fish. I gotta find a way to serve it with really good. All right. We gotta get this fish did and put on plates. Jesus' birthday. Oh, ah, jeez. Ah, fuck. Ah, jeez. Ah, crap. <laughs> ah, crap. Ah, jeez. Ah, crap. Um, I think... I think... Guys, do you think Taya should have the moment of truth now, or should we sit down at the table and have the moment of truth? Because I'm about to have my own moment of truth right here. Every day is my moment of truth. Is golden trout as good? Yeah, we should wait for the table for Taya. But I'm gonna, I have to, I have to go in because I know I'm gonna love it. Um, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Oh friggin' God. That yeah. is. That's so good, guys. Holy crap. Table with candles, Rob said. Rob likes you. He's got a crush. <laughs> Rob, you know what I love is candles. Anything I can set on fire. Uh, Rob, Taya makes candles. Um, and they're unscented, too. So they're actually good for dinner. Uh, and they have, like, energy stuff. And she puts all sorts of, like, uh, like spices or anything that has to deal with what you need right now in life all sorts of like witchy stuff. So if you do need candles made, I'm pretty sure she has a uh, Etsy. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So you guys can go ahead and do that. Yes. Go ahead or and sub DMing. subscribe to Taya's Etsy channel, yeah. <laughs> please. I keep telling Taya she has to do a YouTube channel uh, doing all of her witchy stuff, um, but we are going to be building a school bus out into a home and then we are going to uh, be going out uh, and traveling around and all that stuff. So she's definitely gonna start a YouTube channel for that. So I think she can incorporate incorporate like the witchy stuff she does, the candle making she does, and all that stuff into her own kind of YouTube channel, which would be dope. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I was joking. I'm I'm extremely sarcastic uh, and just an idiot. So most of what I say. Um, is just me being dumb. Max, it is happening way sooner than any of us predicted, and uh, that's going to be talked about upcoming. I don't want to, like, jinx anything because it's in the works, but we have big plans coming. Todd's big plans. pregnant. Todd's pregnant. Metaphorically. With another Todd. Oh, God. Todd the third. Todd the bod three. <laughs> Do you want to hold up one? More though? than anything. Thank you. Including me in this journey. Babe, be careful with the mouse one. Use this one because it'll scratch oh, that yeah. and make it cancer. Do you want cancer? I mean, probably gonna get it anyway. Here's hoping. Hmm. Max, where are you that you would take Todd fishing? Max um, lives in Virginia and 
his grandfather lives right near where I'm, where I work. We were at, he was the kid that I was supposed to go with the other morning. But I don't, I'm not like a shore spot. But I got some shore spots now, Max. Even though next time you're back, you'll have your skiff. I don't even know. I'm looking there, and I should be looking here. Okay. Taya has her phone back there. I don't know why. I'm, she should put her phone there. You told me to. Here, put your uh, oh. plate here now. We got all of our rice, and I'm going to divvy up some of this fish. You know, I don't know if you're going to like the skin. Because the skin's where, like, kind of the fishiness is. So, what I don't like about fish um, is... But then again, you the, like There's, this. like... So, it's kind of weird because when it comes to... Um, oh, Rob, you do wire wrap jewelry. Cool, do you have an Etsy? I love jewelry. I love jewelry. <laughs> she will spend all of her money on jewelry. Um, but what I don't like about fish is that it, it tastes um, like funky in a way that a lot of cheese tastes like to me. And I don't care for most cheeses. I'll watch out for these. Cool. It'll be really And also it see. contains uh, weapons. Um, so, oh, happy eating. Bon appetit. Bon apple tea. So, um, I also got um, sun poisoning on a family vacation when I was a kid. And I was in a seafood restaurant. So I got Just really vacations. sick and I like passed out. And the, what I could really remember was the smell of fish cooking. So a lot of times if I smell fish cooking, it kind of takes me back there. Um, so... Did this smell like that? No. This hasn't smelled fishy to me. I can see, the, like, all of them. Yeah. This is my plate, so... Oh, good. Yeah. So, but I... Yeah, so that's, that's those are my issues with fish. Trying to expand my horizons, especially because um, I think it's really cool that Todd catches things and then cooks them and eats them. I think that is like a really cool way to live. Um, and I don't have an allergy. And we could survive the apocalypse because of it. I don't care to survive the apocalypse. I'm like barely. <laughs> this has been on an right ongoing now, so. argument since we I'm got like, together. No, really, just let me go. She just wants to be let free. Just let me go. The twist would be that, like, at the end, I survive. If we had, a, uh, like, a movie, and I was like, no, 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 let me go. Just let me go. And everyone just accepts that Taya died. Man, but then a, at the end, I'm the lone survivor. This is a lot of meat for one fish. Like, that's, show them half the fish right there. Sure. That's about half the fish. I can come still with get me. some more. Hey, come with me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's... Not even half the fish. There's still a little more in the tail, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get Taya hers now. The other side didn't crisp up as as well because I didn't do it right. I should have put it closer, but you're fired. Still, let's take some some of the skin off. I don't know how much Taya's gonna like the skin. I love fish skin. I would say I would, I would eat this like by itself, like that. Like that. Holy oh, yeah, you're disgusting. God, babe. Mm. Okay, turn it to you. So this is the skin uh, of the trout. I know you guys said wait till the table, but we'll wait till the table to the inside. The Try this. Okay. It's fishy. But delicious. Uh -oh. She can't do the skin. I told you. No, face yourself. They got to see your reaction. Oh, okay. Yep, look. Show her. Show oh, them when I you guess. spit it out. <laughs> Like really I told you guys like early I just, on. I told everybody that you would not hide it. <laughs> I feel like I just made out with the bottom of a pond. I need more bourbon. Um, you're gonna, yeah, no, Knox. So, because I hate um, fish so much. I have never fed my cat fish. She doesn't like it. And now Knox doesn't eat fish. But the funny thing is, this will taste it. Never enough bourbon. That's true. Um, she loves cheese, <laughs> so when Todd um, puts cheese on all his stuff, all his food, like literally anything that he consumes, 
Knox will like come out of nowhere and like be trying, like begging at his dishes for his cheese. Um, yeah, no, the skin, yeah, thank you, Rob. Skin doesn't seem like it's for everyone. I like um, chicken skin, like the fried chicken skin, the gribbons. I feel like this skin is so but salty it, and delicious. It is salty. It was salty and, it's so and like fatty and like so good for you. Fish skin is so freaking good for you guys. Explain yourself. Prove it. Why? How? You want to look it up? No, I'm doing stuff. My boyfriend is live on YouTube oh, right now. I'm live. checking the comments. Oh my god, the I'm skin is so good. I'm also trying to figure out my new hinge profile. What's a hinge? It's a dating app. Is that a part of the door? <laughs> oh my god. Even the skin that isn't the best is good. How this is the good mind? skin, the crispy shit. So, um, I have had raw, um, tuna, or, and seared tuna that I've been into. The problem is that, um, Let's go. I tend to get take that. weirded take, out take that by the talk. texture, um, eventually. So, like, if we were out to dinner, say, hypothetically, and you ordered mahi-mahi or, like, seared tuna or whatever, I would definitely have a couple bites, but I, it, I couldn't make it my whole meal. Um, which is why when Todd was like, don't cook your own meal, <laughs> we're going to eat fish. I was like, okay, idiot. This is mine. I lit one of my candles. I see that. Per Rob's request, because I thought it was a nice idea. And I, I got you some harm, so I don't know if this is going to be good or not. Sit down and see if this works. Oh, Beckham texted me. Oh. Man, it doesn't it work. It's away. a little high. It's a little high. Hmm. All right. Um, There's the candle, guys. I did not make this candle. I bought it at a store. Do you want me to get your beer again? Though? I'm gonna put this off to the side. Uh, yes, please. I'll take a beer. We also need to make sure you're in the shot. Um, there's like a sip left. Do you want another one or a bourbon or something? Um, yeah, I'll take it one more beer. I need to figure out a way to get us both in the shot because I don't know if you're in the shot, babe. Do you want the nice chair? What do you mean? I love that chair. What, this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Which one? So do you want to try the sour no. ale? Thank you. Dude, get out of here. You want a little piece of fish? Here. Well, if everyone... Duke, you're disgusting. Duke, come here, bud. Go. Get out. He's going to knock. Now you got to get out. Oh, low battery. Time to plug in. Hey, Bobby. Time to plug into shore power. Come on. Back up. I literally can't get past you. Uh, plug it in. Oh, I'm hot now. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing Oh, Becca. Up. Gang, 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 gang. Hey. gang. Well, Becca texted me. Becca, we're about to eat this golden trout, yo. Rob said, why am I sitting before her? He's Thank very, you. He's very chivalry. Yeah. Rob, are you single? I think he is. He's been hitting on you all night. All right. All right, here we go. Taya's first bite of fish. Trout. Golden trout. Is it your fish first ever. bite of golden trout too, though, sweetie? Yeah, I tried it. I snuck behind your back and tried it in front of everybody. Now the party can start with Becca. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. Okay. Duke, Duke, you're ruining the lighting. <laughs> you're such a pain in the butt. He's so cute, though. Okay. All right, here we go. Taya's so, first bite of a golden rainbow trout. Literally. Is it too fishy? Her face will tell you immediately. Dot com. My dad always said, you have no poker face. <laughs> Zero, especially when it comes to eating fish. Never gamble, Taya. That's what my dad Becca, what said. do you think? Is she going to like it or not? Becca. Oh, my God. Becca. Becca, you're missing out, bro. Becca, I'm still eating the ham your mom made the other night. It's good. I made a beautiful breakfast sandwich with it today. I bet Becca already left. She came in and went gang and left. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. First bite. Too fishy. 
Oh, here comes the after the aftermath. It's not bad. She's, she's making that I almost don't like you face. I but almost kind of like good. It. It's like a saltiness, but like not from the salt salt, like within the meat. Okay, that doesn't make sense because it's, uh, I put tons of salt in the meat though. I season the inside of the fish. Oh, so it tastes like it came from the ocean. Um, chef, I need chef. to send my my meal back. I mean, you can eat these bones. Are you trying to kill know. me? I'll eat this one right here. Don't do that, please. I'm pretty sure I've been eating a ton of fish bones. Right. In my life. Can you eat this? Pour a drink on it, said Ryan. <laughs> Just pour the Did whiskey on it. Is this an alcoholic? Because I am. I don't know if it's... A I don't know if it's like a texture thing because I'm not used to the texture. Are you eating too, Lopez? Yeah, he's having lunch. Oh my God. Hey, Lopez, what are you having for lunch? You might like the burnt skin. More. Yeah, exactly, Rob. It shows. Thank you. A bone is unacceptable, Todd. Yeah, seriously. Huh? The What's bone is oh. Uh, oh, Nick. That is a cute little weightlifter pear. What was that? Hmm. I think it was me. Let's test the salad that just had my cheese. Whoever on, made on this it. rice is like really underappreciated. The ro the rice is really good. Herbs de Provence mm. really did the trick. When we can travel again, I'm gonna take Todd to Provence, um, <laughs> which is one of my favorite places on the planet. Did Lopez tell you what, what he's fish. having for lunch? No, no. I'm going to France, and I'm totally going to fish. I'm trying to kill her off so he can get on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Plugging it in helped. Helped with what? Helped with what, Ryan? Plugging in the phone? Was the audio bad? I don't know. You know, I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh, the rice cooker. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Listen. He's an idiot. He's handsome. Look. He's not smart. He can't be both. Well, mm-hmm. Math know. note, I wanted you to try the burnt part. Oh. It's different. All right, so now I have to try this burnt part. Just try the part that, like, is nice and crisp. Even though it didn't. It's, just, like, soft crisp. This is, like, Fear Factor Taya edition. A little, bit, a little bit better. It's still fishy. I don't get any fishiness from the skin. No. I mean, that part I could actually, like, not spit out. <laughs> so it was better. Cause I want you guys to know that I don't act this way in restaurants. Mm -hmm. But at home. I also want you guys to know whoever said they wanted me to drink this expired... Um, we didn't look to see if it was expired. You're the one that brings home this stuff. Yeah, because it's expired. Um, wow. Sour ale. I really like the salad. Have you tried the salad yet? Mm -mm. Really good. It's like, it's like, a, like a bad shandy. It tastes like a bad shandy. It's not as good as buffalo trace. Mm, 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 mm. I'm definitely gonna have to make myself uh, sausages. Mm. Lemon juice on it. We do have lemon juice. Bone. Almost got like all the way down my throat because I just like almost swallowed it. Babe, this salad is really good. The salad, the, that dressing's. I, t I told you before, you never tr have tried my balsamic ranch, right? Every time I make the make yeah. it for my carrots, I just engulf it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have surprised her with a candle. I know. I know, Rob. I know. She is a candle He said you should have surprised fiend. her. I don't even know what a candle is. Can, like, if, do you want to talk about candles? And tail. Every time you've made this, like, ranch balsamic, it's been, like, those random weird nights when, like, you're, you're up not. later than me. Yeah. 
I'm like eating for some reason and watching YouTube videos. It's like one of my favorite healthy snacks. That's not that healthy because I put so much ranch and balls on it. <laughs> the scary part, though. <laughs> Uh, um, the, I don't have recipes, Lopez. I literally eyeball everything I do. Do I? Do I not? Uh, it's very, very rare that I follow any sort of recipe. He literally just and put, somehow shit tastes really good. It was just like a ranch dressing that we had in the fridge, and then he just poured like um, he some amount of balsamic in it. Yep, right? I put balsamic. I put olive oil. I put uh, some garlic. I did some basil. Tried basil. And cracked pepper. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's an that's a salad dressing. So I just love it. I, I'm pretty sure when I worked at the Cheesecake Factory they had Max, I didn't like salad as a kid unless unless Same. it was Ken's Italian dressing. That shit was fire, though. Because it's so... Because I loved vinegar as a kid. And so Ken's Italian dressing was the only dressing I could eat. I didn't eat fish as a kid. I couldn't have my food touching as a kid. And I was <clears throat> pretty much like that until I was, like, maybe 17. <clears throat> and I started, like, branching out. And then I started cooking a lot. My mom wasn't the best cook. Jesus, not. Nox. My mom wasn't the Nox, best cook. Are you okay? <laughs> So when no. I started experimenting with cooking, and my Nazi. flavor taste buds and everything changed a ton. Yeah, Becca does that. She just jumps in and she says, gang, I said that. That's why I talk shit. Because she jumped in. She was like, gang, bye. She's probably editing her butt off. She she works so hard. It's really it's really hard to, um, to like, step over Duke for to get me, you. with all the, with everything that I do, it's hard for me to even watch Becca's videos sometimes. Like, it's so difficult to find time in the day to, like, even have time to do that. Because, some, t you know, most of the time when I have the time to relax, I'm laying with this lovely lady on the couch. And, you know, we usually put on something that both of us will enjoy unless I'm literally about to pass out. And then she'll put on, like, a murder show. Because mm -hmm. she loves true crime. Mm-hmm. There she is. I don't think I've watched much of Becca's work at all. It's so hard. I mean, you could. You have a little bit of free time sometimes. Like, you could, like, watch up. Or, like, wake, and I do, too. I could. I try. When I, like, lately I've had more free time the past couple months because I haven't been working because we haven't been sailing. But now that I'm back to work again, it's going to be back to the insane grind. Um... Until we get the bus. And then it's going to be a whole new grind. It's going to be a whole new grind. Uh, there's just so much going on with this bus, guys. I can't wait to, like, tell you all what's really happening. Because things are going to be real. Ooh, Jacob's going. Jacob just went live. He's searching the store. I don't know what that means. It could be the store at his house. Which is crazy. His dad has like a billion antique lures at his house. I have to wait a month before. Watch back as what? Video? Like if we're doing something together? Oh. Uh, is that what you mean, Ryan? But she put so much out. Hmm? Huh? Her timeline is different. Her right? timeline is different. Sometimes. Sometimes she's ahead of me, sometimes she's not. It all depends on how much I have backed yeah. up. Yeah. No. I haven't bought the bus. I haven't saved a dime for the bus. <laughs> the goal was... It's my boy. ...to start working um, tomorrow, <laughs> which is when I... Basically when the season starts. Start working tomorrow... And save up till the end of winter. Or not the end of winter, but like until we stop sailing. And then buy the bus. And then move to upstate New York to work on the bus. 
because Taya's uh, dad owns a dairy farm in upstate New York. I grew and so up on we'd a have dairy farm. All the facilities to work on the bus um, in any weather condition. Like we'll have barns and like the facilities that they use to maintain all of the equipment on the farm. So the timeline was looking like a year from this winter, but the timeline may be changing. And I may have some crazy news. I may not. We will wait and see. Um, Once everything's like set in stone, you guys will be the first to know. Besides Taya. <laughs> Thanks. And maybe a couple of my best friends. Um, Nick said... Oh no, wait. First, Rob said, River Pirates is inviting you to Richmond, Virginia to fish the James River. I love Virginia. I have I some have really good friends in, in Virginia. Virginia. In Alexandria. Um, and Nick asked off the wall question, are you going to apply for the catch coat contest? I haven't even looked into what that was. I saw it on Becca's story. It is pretty cool, though. Uh, like, the prizes looked cool. That's all I saw, but I don't know what the contest is. I just saw what you could win. Oh, I mean, um, it looked pretty dope. Is the contest um, stripped down to your knickers and jump into freezing cold water? Because I got that down. I did it again today, folks. Yep. Eileen's texting you. Is she in the chat? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Max lives in Virginia, yeah, too. That'd yeah. be a fun trip. My One of my dad's sisters is out there, and most of her kid, um No, both her kids now. Max, Max, do you remember uh, me telling you about yeah, Max? Really cool. He's it's the young, boy. he's the young kid who came out on the boat with his mom and his brother and his gramps this winter. Oh yeah, because they saw they because they watched the channel. Yeah, that's Max, awesome. Max. Bye, Max. Um, Jay, where in upstate New York have you been kayaking? Yeah, we're gonna be in the Syracuse area. Syracuse always had a really good swim team. That's you? Syracuse, yep. They were like one of the better college swimming teams. At least when I was a kid. We live on the Susquehanna. Come fish here. Okay. You know what that is? Mm -mm. It sounds like upstate New York, though. Uh, that it sounds familiar. The river Susquehanna. Where is that? Um, who cares? Who cares? Time for salad. Oh my goodness! Guys, if you want to stay tuned for my um, Buffalo swim team, yep. Todd and I were both swimmers. Mm-hmm. Competitively. My fastest hundred freestyle was fifty-four seconds. I was fast. Yep, that was really fast. I think my fastest 50 was 27. Bog River? Yeah. So, um, I think that it would be cool if Todd and I rented a place on one of the lakes. When we were up there? Mm-hmm. New York, PA. Okay. The border? Yeah. Um, so I think that, uh, I think it would be really cool to, to be on a lake year-round, and if it, if we're there in the winter, it would, could, uh... Ice fishing. Right. Um, my cousin, um, owns a brewery on Canandaigua Lake called Young Lion, and, uh, they make good beer, and I say that in all, um, being fully earnest, as I'm a harsh critic. Who cares? Swim a, did a 52.9. That's freaking fast, Sick, bro. Did you swim in college? I did. I didn't swim in college. I quit my senior year because I couldn't stand my coach. And, uh, whatever. My parents wouldn't let me. And I hated it. 
I was a breaststroker. Yeah, I would say that Cooperstown to Chesapeake Bay. Most of my family is in upstate at this point, upstate New York. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, sorry, I don't mm. know if I could say most, though. You gonna eat more of that fish there, kiddo? No. You're done? Mm -hmm. Wow, she ate a ton of it, guys. I ate my entire half of fish. I didn't. I went to uh, massage school in Nashua, New Hampshire, Max, and then I never worked uh, as a masseuse. I traveled around and went to the Outer Banks of North Carolina for two summers, and then I moved to Boston, and then I moved to Hawaii. And then I moved back to Boston, and then I moved back to New Hampshire, and then I moved back to Boston, and then I'm in Rhode Island. I <laughs> went to Hobart and William Smith in upstate New York on Seneca Lake, uh, one of the Finger Lakes. And then I got my MFA um, at Emerson College um, in Boston. In Beantown. But I only swam my first year in college because I hated it and I wanted to quit, so I just, uh, my parents told me just try one year. So I did, and then I quit. It was just so much different and more intense. I didn't like any of it. They made me do all of it. Oh, well, you never wanted to swim. Yeah. <laughs> I spent literally my whole life doing a sport I hated. Well, most of my life, because now I'm older, but... I loved it, because it was one of the sports that I actually kicked the shit out of people in. Yeah, but you know me, like, I'd rather be under a tree reading. And then, like, I loved football, because I could run full speed into people and I loved lacrosse because I could run full speed into people oh. and I loved hockey because I could run full speed into people Rob fell through ice in Montana when recently so many people I know fell through the ice this year it's scary he said he he I'd try but I went through the ice hunting oh he went through the ice when he was hunting in Montana oh that's, that's really crazy. scary I'm glad you're okay yeah going through the ice is no joke Milford, New Hampshire. To the universe. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Altitude. Are you gonna make me some sausages or like what? Eat the freaking fish I caught no. fresh. No. Can't make me. I'm a grown woman. Holy crap. That was fun. I would do that again. Yeah. I should find something to give away, guys. What about McFarty our is in Amherst. What's up? What's up? What'd you say, babe? Lacrosse is the best. I play five days a week. Yeah. Um, lacrosse is really big in upstate New York because Look, of the Native American population. Lacrosse is Speaking one of, of the... Speaking of amazing teams, holy shit, the Onondaga teams of lacrosse. That, that, that <gasps> sport is, like, insanely fun Maybe. and insanely difficult. 99, he fell through the ice. Yeah, I mean, I would be Leftover afraid. fish. Leftover Taya's fish is yeah, going to be what we're doing. who wants my DNA? <laughs> Just kidding. Nox, come on. You want to try some fish? It. We'll try it, Noxie. You going to try it? That's my girl. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe it's a cat that doesn't like fish. Rob, I'm sorry for your loss. Duke would eat this entire plate in about four seconds. Um, Do I still surf? I haven't surfed since the last time I was out in Hawaii, which was about... <laughs> Todd only surfs nude. Like five years ago. I have surfed nude. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't surf up here because the water's freaking freezing, and I've never surfed in a wetsuit because I am a bitch, and I just want to be in my board shorts and surfing when it's hot. It's like it's like one of those sports I want to do when it's like, you know, the ocean's it's hot out and you actually want to be in the ocean. I, I took, guess I took a surfboarding lesson once. <laughs> Surfing on his Taya surfboard. Yeah. Ooh. Going for a long ride. Ew. You wish. <laughs> well, at least the salad's freaking good, right? The salad was great. The rice was stupendous. I would say the golden trout is 
just as good as any rainbow trout I've ever had. The problem is like that I just don't want to eat that. Even though it's super good. Can for you, you understand that? No. Okay. Not wanting to. I love you anyway. We're in California, Rob. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I have to fart. Oh no. Mm. One of my coworkers is from LA. And it was really funny because um, her boyfriend scheduled her a vaccine appointment. And um, she was like, yeah, um, Evan got me a vaccine appointment. But it's kind of weird. It's at a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and I was like, was it the Dunkin' Donuts Convention Center? And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Freaking Dunks is like, do you want a shot with your coffee? Yeah, yeah, I can make that a regular coffee, and do you want a Moderna, too? Yo, these are not Coleman. That's close. These are, Aren't like, they? they're knockoff Coleman. Oh. I did buy them Taya, at the camping center. Taya saw them at Walmart and was like, I kind of love those. And I was like, well, whatever, they're wicked cheap. Uh, they were Ozark Trail. Were they? Which is, like, the off-brand it's like the Walmart brand of camping shit. Uh, but yeah, these are Ozark Trail plates and bowls. And they are great. I the would... only problem, the biggest issue with them uh, is when you put really hot food on them and you go to pick up the plate, the bottom, it's like super thin. So the bottom of these plates get like burn your finger yeah, off Yeah, you, you can't like do like this if there's something hot in the, in the bowl, which we both do because we have like such a such a strong background in hospitality between the two of us. McFuddy, I'm pretty sure cows could probably swim. McFuddy, I agree. Um, yeah, more people would be at the donut shop. And also, most of New England would be vaccinated He said like, more people would get them ago. at the donut shop. Oh, yeah, exactly. Most of New England would be done by now. Kid. Tay and I both got our first shot. So we're happy. You did. I hope you all can get yours. My second safe. one's on the 26th. I don't know when hers is. I think it's a few days later. Yeah, right? the first, yeah. So we will be fully vaccinated and ready to do vaccinating things. Right? Yes. Like. Do you want to hide behind the mask? I just want people to know I have a skull. Put some padding on the bottom. We could do that, actually. Yeah. Buy, like, something that sticks on the bottom of the plates. I think these will be really great for the bus. Be great for the bus. Like, we're going to have to get rid of a lot of stuff. We're going to have to get rid of lots of stuff for the bus. Some stuff in storage. Like, we're going to have to we're put gonna Duke We're going to do big giveaways. Storage. Speaking we're of giveaways. Like, Duke, here's, let's, like, plenty let's of food find and something water. To give away. We'll see you in, like, a, in, like, a year. <clears throat> What'd you give away? I work for the hospital. Hold on for a bit. Yeah, that's fair. What is that? Oops. What was that? Uh, my uh, thing. Okay. I don't know what that means. So, who wants to stick around for my um, giveaway? Sausage cooking. The candle is. Thank you. I do love this candle. I'm. I have a bad habit of buying pretty candles that I never burn, and I'm trying to get over it. So this is, like, one of those candles that I'm trying to just burn. All right, guys, because um, because I'm going to be using Chris's crawler with the tranks. You Todd, are. I like that tranks. <laughs> Give that away to me. Uh, so because I'm going to be using Chris's crawler um, all year... I'm going to give away my first crawler. I've used this. I've caught pike on it. I've caught bass on it. It's one of my favorite uh, cheap. I mean, it's the best cheap crawler out there. And it is the big Savage Gear bat. Not the small one. The big one. You just got to make sure. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Yeah, make sure the wings are kind of even. They're a little bit uneven right now, so you just bend them, kind of bend them back a little bit. And uh, that's it. This thing works wonders. So we will uh, we'll ship you out the Savage Gear Bat. 
Ryan, do you want to give a trivia question? You want to ask the boys a trivia question? You want to be part of it. You want to you want to see if you can win this. This is OG, man. I've been fishing with this bat for a few years now. Chris Ellis actually gave me this bat a long time ago. I've caught a bunch of fish on this thing. When it's nighttime and you're out night fishing and things are loud, this is one of the best styles of bait you could go with. Um, and even not, like I didn't have any faith in this thing when I first saw it. But now my faith in crawlers are just beyond, like, it's insane. I have, like, almost as much faith in this crawler-style bait as I do the BBZ Rat, which is it's crazy. out of control. Shush. So much, Shushy. so much faith. So, I have so much things. Okay. I got <laughs> Moderna. <laughs> the side effects I got, I got really tired for, like, an hour after the shot. I took a nap, and I'm not really a napper. Um, I had extreme soreness in my arm, like sore to the touch, sore like through the muscle area, but I have an old swimming injury, um, so I think that it was a bad idea to get this in my left shoulder anyway, because it's always kind of inflamed, so the vaccine just further inflamed something that's already a problem area, but I'm totally fine now, I had no flu-like symptoms. Um, what did you get, babe? Did you get Moderna or uh, Pfizer? I got the Pfizer, and it felt like somebody poked me really hard in my arm. With a needle? Like the, no. Like with their finger, like it felt like I had somebody like like somebody just like really, like hit me hard, and then I did, and then I didn't remember it, and then like hours later I had a small bruise because of it. It felt like I had like a tiny little bruise on my arm, for maybe, I don't know, half of a day, and it was hours and hours and hours later that it even felt remotely sore, but it wasn't bad at all, yeah. and I had nothing else. Um, Rob, yes, I will check out your jewelry company. Thank you for sharing. Um, I actually want an autograph from you, Todd, if I win. I saw that. Said. Cool, Lopez, yeah. Cool. Lopez, don't, didn't you win last, no, who won last week? He, no, but Lopez bought frogs. Lopez bought frogs last week, too? No, recently, but. You sent them to him already? Oh, yeah, that was the one that we had trouble okay. with. Okay, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um. Lopez? Got it. Uh, yeah. Let's do a Keith trivia. Swimming, arm swimming injuries. Yeah, I, I messed up my left How shoulder in college. My college uh, coach changed my freestyle stroke a little bit, and my shoulder has been cracking ever since. So thank you, Kelly. You fucking suck. Uh, Ryan, I don't know if I ever told the story about how Keith and I met. I don't know this story. Like, we met at school, but we didn't, like, become friends because of school. Like, I knew of him, but, like, that's not how we, like, met and became friends. I bet nudity is involved. No, Keith wasn't, like, a nudist until he went to college. Did I t say exactly how we met? Like, exactly? I don't know. In I don't the know. Texas I don't want one? your channel at college. That's a great question. So, yeah, no, if guys, get, guys, if you get that right, let's go with Ryan's first question for now. How did Keith and I meet and become friends? Um, whoever answers it first wins. I don't think I said it out loud exactly how we met. Maybe I did. Fish skin will cure all that. <laughs> <laughs> Make funny Tinder. <laughs> Tinder wasn't around back then. We didn't yeah, have Todd that Tinder stuff. Tinder is. We didn't have that. Becca. Becca, no. My best friend. I don't Keith. think Becca was born when Todd met Keith. <laughs> Shut up. You're kind of probably sort but of right. What year was it, baby? Keith and I became really good friends in like 2000. Literally, Becca was just being born. No, we, we've been friends for a long, long time, since high school. Keith and I met, met and we, I, we knew each other and became friends in high school. Um, I don't think anybody's going to get this. Rob said he was sorry if you think I was Okay, Ryan, it. Ryan, tell Rob, me. You're tell my me what favorite it, person. Ryan, tell me, what it, what, tell me the answer to the question, because I, I didn't even remember saying that. It wasn't football. No, we did play lacrosse together, but that's not where we met. We were already, like, best buddies. Third grade. And his parents used to cheer me on at hey, lacrosse. Lisa. We didn't meet at lacrosse. We did play lacrosse together. 
Third grade home ec. It's not lacrosse. A nude home ec Keith, in New Hampshire. Keith was really good at lacrosse, though. But we didn't, uh, that wasn't it. That wasn't where we met and became friends. It wasn't swimming. Keith didn't swim. Keith, Keith was a golfer, and he played lacrosse. And he was a big freaking brain, and he went to. He ended up going to college for uh, philosophy. He's a goddamn thinker. Oh, I know what it was. Mm-hmm. What? It's you said. What? Oh no, no, that's Patrick. Keith and I didn't. We grew up in Milford together. We were we were kind of close in neighborhoods, but Keith and I. This is why I didn't think I said this uh, in the thing. Nope. His dad worked for the Boys and Girls Club, but not the one I went to. I went to the one in Nashua. So when I moved to, I moved to Milford, and we became friends because we ended up working together at a video store in Milford uh, called Video Update. You guys remember when there were actually freaking video stores before Netflix uh, right. came out and destroyed video stores for good? No, I'm so young. I don't need... What's yeah. the video? That's where Keith and I met. We became wiggy good friends, uh, and then we were on the lacrosse team together and everything. It was, uh, and, we, you know, we were not, we were sort of in in bands together, too, but, yeah, no, Patrick and I grew up together um, in the same neighborhood. He was one of my best friends growing up, Patrick. He's the uh, my boss at the old bar that I worked at. Hollywood videos and Blockbuster. We had Blockbuster and Hollywoods. There was a couple Hollywoods, I think, around. I remember that. We had a local one that we used to go to. All right, Ryan, what's the next question? We're doing it for the Savage Video Gear. We're doing it for the Blizzard? Savage Gear bat. This thing actually slays giants. If you at all go night fishing for bats. This reminds me of the Great Mouse Detective. Breaking on the card. Breaking on the... I remember making out with girls in the Nashua Boys Club. Who? Who? Quite a few of them. Todd, you were a slut. I was. A, I was a make-out slut when I was a kid. How <laughs> Yes, where did I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go, we'll go with another Keith trivia. Where did I sleep the second night... Of the trip that I hitchhiked down to Maryland for. Uh, to to party in the nude. <laughs> with Keith. It gives away for free. Yeah, guy. Okay. Literally. Uh, amongst hundreds of other people partying in the nude. I um, would love to meet your dog, Groot. That's a great name <laughs> for a dog. I love that. In the earth. Nope. Bathtub. Nope. Come on, if oh, you watch the Texas series, you know. That is how Jack met Christy and... Um, Where did I sleep? In a tent on the roof, Lisa Janet. wins. Lisa with the Lisa dubs. Lisa again. Lisa, nice. Lisa, now you got to catch a fish on this. Lisa, catch so a fish. So you got to do some uh, some night fishing for bass. Does she, do you already have her um Lisa, I already address? know where you live. It's creepy. So we'll send this out to you, Lisa. Amazing. The Savage pocket. Gear bat. We gotta send a. Um, this is this is like I didn't. I almost didn't want to give this away because this has a lot of like sentimental value. So don't throw this in a tree. Be careful oh, with this and catch a bigot. A lot of already one. I would never throw that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to catch a fish on it before you put it away. Catch a. Because um, it it catches. I've caught I caught pike on this. In the Midwest. I brought this to the Midwest. I caught bass and pike. That is creepy. <laughs> it's awesome, Lisa. It's like something from your neighbor. They hammer it. It's the noise it makes because it, it makes a lot of... Oh. Okay. It makes a lot of noise when it when it's uh, doing its thing because it's got uh -huh. a rattle in it. But it also makes... It would make a lot of noise without the rattle. Um, cause that's what I've been tossing. Like Chris's crawler makes a lot of noise and it's obviously a solid wood crawler. So it doesn't, uh, the Savage Gear duck. I don't think I use the Savage Gear one. I use like a soft plastic, like hollow body duck, uh, like frog fishing. And that, that was actually pretty good. Night fishing for bass is not illegal in any state that I've ever been in. Oh, really? I didn't know it was illegal. I don't think it is. I've never heard that before in my life. I don't know where it would be illegal, and if it that's true, it's dumb. 
Uh, night fishing for bass is the greatest thing that's ever. Why? That why ever was. at night and not in the daytime? Doesn't it doesn't even make sense? I would do it anyways if I were, if it was illegal in my state. I would do it anyways. That's like that, the one thing I'd be true. like, nope. You can screw yourself. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I will night fish whenever I want, wherever I want. Don't care. That's like one of my favorite things to do ever. Or I just won't go to that state because that state's probably the worst. <laughs> state ever if that was a law like shut up state it's a huge it's huge down south but in new england it is it is god like all the guys up here start night fishing as soon as it's ice out i caught my first topwater bass like not even two weeks after ice out uh because i went out at night and was throwing a crawler not in california it's legal to night fish. yeah i've never heard that that it's illegal to that's night interesting fish bass. i wonder what the the like rationale is Just, like, new, in all of new england it's totally legal yep yeah bats are bats are freaking fa it's a fantastic crawler style baits are perfect at night because if any bird or bat lands in the water they're gonna freak out um at night and those bass will key in on it and hammer it Mill Pond. <laughs> Nass. Dude, Mill Pond is fucking fire. I caught a giant on the BBZ rat at Mill Pond right before nightfall uh, when the water temps were still super freaking cold one spring. I think it was two or three. It was three years ago. In Milford, New Hampshire, Jay? Okay. Yeah, and, and exactly, and they freak out, and then, oh, they just get munched. I also, one time, Chris, uh, my buddy Chris Ellis and I were out night fishing, and there was a mole, a small mole, probably like this big, going across the water. I'm like, bro, first of all, you're blind. Where are you going? Uh, second of all, we are fishing for topwater bass right now, and we already caught a couple, and you're going to get hammered. And so I picked him up in the net, and I took him to shore and because I, I felt so bad for the little blind mole. Aww. Yeah, Chris and so I. Nice. Yeah, and then we got, like, the owners of the house got, thought we were, like, trying to pull some shit because it was night, and they, like, got creeped out. And we were like, sorry, we were just releasing a mole. <laughs> just normal stuff. <laughs> it was stuff. just the mole. Just normal stuff. stuff. Just normal mole things. Little mole. Stupid mole. It was so cool to see, though. All right, are it's, you gonna cook? You're gonna make some sausages you guys, for you yourself. You guys want to watch me make my dinner now? Lisa thinks we should ask another question. Do you do you want us to give this to somebody else, Lisa? You always want to give Lisa, away your prizes. Lisa, I already know where you live. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Put a hook in it. <laughs> yeah, I thought that that was gonna go a different direction, but I'm proud of Todd yeah, for that. If you moment. like it, then you should have put a hook in it. Uh oh, 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 oh. Good for you, a pop song that's uh, 10 oh, years oh, old. Oh. I hate pop music. Um, who was the name of the chef? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was the first name of the chef that came out and cooked with us? If Lisa doesn't want her prize. The first name of the chef that came out and cooked uh, on the ice with us. Quit saying that, Taya. <laughs> Lisa, I'm watching you. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't remember. That's a good question, Ryan. In DMs. All right, guys. Lisa's giving up the bat. Somebody else gets to catch the giants on the bat. Mouse detective bat. This was a present to me, and now I'm giving it away to one of you guys. This means a lot to me. But Chris would be happy because he just wants me to throw his anyways. Put a rig, rig. I'll put a rig on her. Ring. Like a tog rig or like a cod Great. rig. Great. Sing it, Todd. <laughs> Scuba Steve. He probably doesn't even know any more of the words. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. I have no idea. <laughs> What any of the words are. Who sings that song? <laughs> Boom! Lopez. Lopez won. Lopez wins and gets an autograph. From me. From Taya. You're welcome. That's a good Taya. Whoa. Oh, that's I, a good angle. Didn't I do that? <laughs>
That's perfect. I you did. nailed it. <laughs> what? Oh. Taya has thousands of rings. Not thousands. She should get put a ring on my finger because I don't wear them. That has a lot to... <laughs> She's got a couple of rings. This isn't even... Guys, this isn't uh, even all We are all sailing of them. tomorrow, Anthony. This isn't even all the silver ones. Lopez, get us your address again, even though I probably have it somewhere. Um, no, don't worry about it. I have, I have You have yours. Lopez's? Yeah, don't worry. I've got uh, Lopez's. And I... Oh, I don't know, Michael. I just don't know. Um, I also need to mail the giveaway Lopez, from... you have to you have to catch a giant on this last thing. Last time, too. You have to. So... It's a must. If you have won something from Todd in the I know last who needs, I know two who, weeks... I already know. It will be shipped this week. Oh. And you'll hear from one of us with tracking numbers. Um, either probably tomorrow or Everybody wants Grump Friday. stickers. Guys, I'm going to talk to Sol tomorrow. I'll text him and see if we can't get on the sticker thing. Because he was telling me that he wanted to do like a collaboration. Um, Solifornia and Grubs. Because they're my boys. I was wearing the Solifornia hat when I caught the golden trout today, so... I was wearing He's a California hat when I caught a, a bass on Easter Sunday. That's true. He was pumped about that. They love that. They love They love that we love them, and they love us. And, the, and I love you. It's like one of the coolest companies ever. Nothing. I can't Nothing. believe that. My last couple California videos where I, like, tried to, like, you know, really talk about them and stuff, they did, like, meh, okay. Rob, I know I have a gym. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a... <laughs> Crystal. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, he, all he wants is an autograph. <laughs> okay, first person that says they want the bat gets the bat. Someone wants the bat. It's creepy. I love this freaking thing. It works great for me. I want the grub sticker. You guys are so dope together. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Solifornia is very good to purchase online. I've gotten a... I, oh, Chris, Chris. Chris, it's yours. Chris. Chris, get us your address on Instagram uh, or something. Yeah, DM it to Todd on Instagram. Ooh. Now McBuddy. other people... McBuddy, sorry. Chris got it. He got it first. I don't like Let's enough. One. Do you have more? You I only have one? the one back. Yeah. I have a small one. I have the small bat up there. Right there. Oh, I thought that was a frog. No, there's a small bat right there. Do you um do you guys want like a Lego? Because we've got lots of Legos we could give we're away. We're gonna we're gonna give away a lot of fun stuff when we uh when we move into the bus, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. We'll either give it away or, or have like a uh, grub sale. We want um, stickers. Everybody wants stickers. We gotta find. Actually, we gotta get stickers made. So guys. I have stickers that I want like I, a really nice sticker. Um, I had made for my candles. Um, that I could like I could order for him real quick. That wouldn't be as fancy as. <laughs> Mick Buddy, he said bat. Not I want the bat. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Chris, you want the bat, right? Yeah, he said yay. It's no, it's Chris's. I can't. Chris wants it. He said it first. He said it first. It was quick. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Anthony. I like it, Ryan. I will. I'm also trying to get up the time and motivation to make Todd a proper website with swag and all that stuff. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it all set up soon. You know, things are... This is slowly and steadily becoming, you know, something that's going to be a full-time job in the future. So we definitely want to get set up with all that stuff. Sweetie, who cares ass if you could advise him on one big bite bait any good? Big bite baits. They, what was my thing that I liked of theirs back in the day? Is Big Bite a company? Yeah, Big Bite Baits is a company. Um, I mean, they make great stuff. They're, even their worms, like a lot of their stuff is great. Um, I'm trying to remember the things I really like. Some of their smaller stuff I like. Their finesse... The Big Bite Baits finesse stuff is probably their best stuff. I've never heard of that before, so I can't really advise. I'm sorry. You might even... I mean, I Catching gave... Catching Cook on the bus. 
So the other thing that we were well, talking about the on the bus is having everything's on the bus. Is um, be great. having bar. a little bar. Stop. We could do t- cocktail the- cocktail trivia's. So, because I do a lot of freelance um, recipe development, and I'm actually I just signed a contract with Simon and Schuster to do um, freelance recipe development for um, an unofficial Disney book. Um, that's recipes based on Epcot, um, which I don't know a lot about, but I'm going to find out about, and that will be due out sometime, probably in 2022. Um, so mm-hmm. we need a bar, um, for me to keep up with that kind of work. Um, and, yeah, and a place for you to work it. But the thing is, is like most of the time, most of the time we're in the bus, we're probably going to be searching for that good weather. Uh, and then some of the year we will actually be coming up north and, uh, looking for that ice fishing adventure mm. here and there oh it will happen yeah, here especially and there. if you're working in upstate new york yeah if i'm working mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. i'm trying trying to get away from all right myself. well <laughs> it's 11 o'clock i have to get up in four hours have you checked out six cents yeah six cents looks all right uh i mean like they're just like everybody else in... but they see dead people i just uh I love, there's one of the guys that works with Sixth Sense that I love. His name's Ty. He's out in Utah. He is the freaking man. But, like, I don't know. Sixth Sense just has never been my thing. I'm sure their stuff works great. Uh, I'm just never, like, it's not in any of our stores or anything, and I just don't, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to get it either, you know. I do. Plus, I don't use, I don't know. It was his best film, but it really ruined the rest of them. I'm aware of my baits, I guess, when yeah. it comes to that stuff. When it comes to the stuff, huh? But, yeah, no, it's... I I actually really got to wind myself down because um, I just had such a great day. I'm still kind of amped up. I love you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow's episode also includes Taya and Becca. I, you know, I like the Guggen baits a lot. They're great. Uh, there's a lot of baits I like. I won't be using my favorite baits anymore because I don't like them anymore. Uh, not because of the baits, but because of the company. What is your go-to soft plastic? Uh, my go-to when Wait, I'm having trouble... This? What? No. No, it's <laughs> the one you used the other day. It's, it's uh, like Guggen, any any sort of like sea salty girl a wha- wacky rig a wacky rig stick bait sanko whatever you want to call it um, the lunker log works freaking phenomenal I, was I like chunk. to I like to have uh, a lot of salt in my plastics uh, but you know those creature baits lately have been really getting it done for me I'm just you got to be versatile you got to you got to adapt you know like we went the other day the video tomorrow. Becca and I went to two ponds in shorefish, and the creature baits were what they wanted. And then we went to another spot that was totally different, um, and the wind was ripping. And so I started throwing a chatterbait and, you know, hit a fish. And then Becca, because I got one on a moving bait, put on a jerk bait and caught like six in a row. Um, and that's just, you know, you just got to be versatile. You got to. You got to adapt to the, you know, what's going on at certain times of year. If the wind's ripping, if it's calm, if you know what I mean. Like, you got to have a favorite bait for like every sort of situation. That's kind of like how that is. It's it's tough to have a favorite bait. Like, if it's if the wind is whipping like crazy, and I throw a wacky rig, weightless, I'm never gonna feel a bite. So I can't throw that. I got to throw like something moving, like a spinnerbait or something like that, or put something that's weighted on and work the bottom. Just got to be versatile. Um, that's, these are all the reasons why, um, Todd's car is just full of shit. (laughs) Yeah. On the, uh, on the other baits website. Yeah. That, that code doesn't work anymore. Um, they got mad because I talked shit back to a troll. Um, like a year and a half before I even started working with the company. And I was like, you're not, that's, that's not how it goes, but cool. And I actually thought we had a really good relationship with 
the person that was running that part of things. So whatever, you know, shit happens. We move on. Uh, and we want to kick ass even more because of stuff like that, which is great because, you know, it fuels the fire. Anything like that fuels the fire for me. All right, guys. Love you all. I get out of here. Fish on. Good night. Ba-do. End? Should we end it? How do you do it? Is this working? Ending. Press cancel, yeah. Is this working? <laughs> Give me more Did whiskey. Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you.